guys, T Nation here, and your boy is a dumbass. I thought my recording software stopped at 10 minutes uh, for some reason. I don't know why. Because I have a longer video than 10 minutes up on my YouTube channel. But I just recorded a 9 minute video and I was like, okay, I can't edit the settings right away. So I stopped the video. I was just going to redo it as I am right now. Only to find out it said 10 hours instead of 10 minutes. Well, as promised, Panzer Blackhawk Review by uh, Fastech. It's it's an MCV Vilip Philippines mod, but uh, Fastech, which is the cloning uh, people, you know, they're famous for their clones because everybody loves cheap prices, like me, because I can't afford real shit. I mean, I can if I go to my cousin, but just... Uh, he didn't have any mechanical mods because he works at a vape store, but they don't sell a mechanical there for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because nobody in Peterborough wants mechanical, and then there's me that wants mechanical. Uh, I have to take my battery out currently so I can give you guys the in-depth review I did last time before I canceled the recording. Give me a second. I'm just going to put it back in the case. Alright, so... We're going to mention a couple things about it first. Uh, they're going to be the downsides. Now, so downside number one, uh, the voltage drop. It's crazy when you first get it. Some people, for some people, it's fine. Uh, it still chucks. Believe me, it still chucks. But it's a noticeable amount of voltage drop for a mechanical mod. Sorry, if you're wondering why I keep looking over over here. It's because that's where my monitor is, and I'm making sure that I can uh, see what's going on on the screen. Like if I'm showing you the Blackhawk, oh, that's upside down. If I'm showing you the Blackhawk logo. Uh, obviously, the button is not the same as a real Panzer because they have to have some difference so they don't get like I don't know some copyright or trademark or whatever the fuck it is. Okay, so. The voltage drop, but there is a fix for that voltage drop. What you got to do is take off this, the firing mechanism, take off the top piece, and leave yourself with the battery tube. What you're going to do with this battery tube, is you're going to take the copper lining uh, from, for like a slug repellent, insect repellent type of copper lining for plants or something. Saw it on a uh, video it's stri little strips of copper sheet like copper foil that have adhesive uh, adhesive back to it which is a uh, it's tape back basically so you tape it on uh, some people are saying over the threads but uh, really over the threads would not matter all it does uh, even if you have it over the threads it's going to cut the copper because when you screw on your device, uh, like the RDA part or the firing switch, it's going to cut the copper because it's just foil. So, having said that, just before the threads is where you can stop uh, when you put it in. Two strips, either side or four strips, whatever you want. Also be careful not to cover up the air holes when you do that because that would be a oopsie. By air holes, you know, I mean battery venting holes. I'm just gonna. Uh, one minor issue. I wouldn't call it an issue. Uh, I'm sure, there's some way to fix it, but I'm not gonna bother with it because uh, unless it breaks, which I don't think it will, because it's brass. I'm not gonna bother with it. The floating pin inside the RDA. It uh. It moves. Sorry, I'm putting it to my microphone. I'm trying to fuck it, I'm not gonna use the camera. There you go. You hear that? Hopefully. It moves and rattles, but when the battery is against it, it is fine. Uh not really a disadvantage, uh, but in the RDA that comes with it. The when you put in your own cotton and uh 
if it's pressing up against the rectangular air hole slots, it will uh, not stop the airflow, but it will slow it down. So what I did is I just took the little screwdriver that came with it and I pushed it in, I pushed the cotton in slightly, and it increased the airflow dramatically. It was it was awesome because I'm an airflow hog, so that stuff matters to me. Also, the pre uh, pre wired wicks is what they call it that comes with it. Don't use it. Uh, picture those old pen vapes that you get at the corner store for 15 bucks. Uh, their atomizer that has the wicks coming down from the top and into the tank. It's that with a piece of canthal wrapped around it. Not actually, not even a coil, just a piece of canthal spaced out and wrapped around it. So it's definitely not worth using that. Just get some cotton and some canthal, make your own coil. Simple as that. Uh, those are the only things that I find uh, semi-disadvantages. All of them I can live with. Um, let's get down to vaping on it. So we've given a little overview. Uh, actually, I'm going to give a little bit more of an overview. So firing pin. Very nice. Clicky. I really like it. Nice and springy too. You can feel it fighting back. Uh, it's very nice in the hands. I fire with this. I hold it like this. Um, if you get your uh, firing pin lined up correctly, you can match the. Where is it? Okay, that's the design there, but it's engraved. It says Panzer. You can match the Panzer with the Black Hawk logo. Usually it does that. And the RDA says Panzer on also, but uh, it doesn't match up because the air holes on the RDA uh, piece don't match up to the... Like, they uh, stop at a certain point, obviously, because it reaches the base. Uh, let's throw a battery in there. I'm going to use some Sony VTC4s, and remember, always use the safest batteries when vaping mechanical. Otherwise, you're going to end up uh, on one of those news reports for blowing yourself up with a vape. Um, okay. Uh, voltage drop. See, uh, it would fire instantly on a real mechanical. Oh, shit. What's going on? It takes uh, about half a second to fire up. I'm going to put some juice in it. Uh, I got my bull berry that I make. It's a raspberry, watermelon, strawberry mix. I like to do that so I can get the juice that's going to spit out when I blow the rest of my, the air in my lungs out. As you can see, because it comes out the air, hole, air holes when you overfill it, which I always fucking do. Okay. Still trucks pretty good, as you can see there. And that wasn't even a really big hit at all. Uh, with the voltage drop fix that I told you about earlier, uh, it would be chucking harder. But uh, I haven't decided to do that because I quite frankly just like it like this. It's really nice. 
Sorry, right now I'm just focused on the sounds going on in my house because I know my mom's home and I'm not supposed to be vaping in the house. I mean, if she catches me, she'll be like, okay, just don't do it again, blah, blah, blah. Just, it's never fun to be caught on video. Your mom walking in the room. What are you doing? Shit like that. You guys know it. Uh, I got the Joytech EVIC VTC Duo over here. Just thought I'd throw that in. I don't know why. Yeah. But anyways. Uh, great mod. Uh... Price has gone down from what it used to be about a year ago. They used to charge like 40 bucks American for it on uh, Fast Tech, which is overpriced for the clone for sure. Now you can get it for about 30 bucks Canadian, which is about 25 American, almost half cut. And it comes with the RDA. Uh, real quick before I end the video, I'm going to recommend some batteries. Some Sony VTC4s would be real nice great batteries except they're pretty expensive uh for batteries at least the uh, samsung 25rs uh lg he4s all great batteries and high amp discharge is what you need a high amp discharge battery not high ma don't get that wrong ma is how long your battery is going to last before it dies but you want high amp discharge so uh, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, thank you to the lucky 19 people I have. I only have 19. That's okay. I'll get up there, hopefully. And if I don't, I'll still keep making videos to keep the 19 people happy. Uh, I already have 1,200 views on one of my videos. It's only been up three days, and I have no idea how the fuck it happened. But it did. So, having said that, thank you. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.